creating concert visuals can be a complex process involving a multitude of software and tools. In this video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of software that you might want to use in your pipeline. Whether you're creating 2D or 3D animation, using characters or simulations or epic landscapes, or you want to be a generalist that does it all, this video will show you the tools that you can use to get the results you're after. I'll start with the basics, but stick around because I'm going to show you a bunch of specialized tools that you can use and a few bonus items that concert visual animators like us will find helpful in our workflows. I'm a 3D guy, so let's start there. If you want to create 3D animation, you're going to need a 3D package. Cinema 4D, Blender, Maya, Houdini, these are kind of the big dogs of 3D packages. Cinema 4D is very versatile and commonly used by studios. There are a lot of tutorials to help you learn and some great plugins available. Blender is free to start, has a bunch of add-ons as well, and a large and fast-growing community sharing resources and information. Lots of new artists are starting here and the studios are catching on as well. Houdini is a bit more complicated, but really powerful. If you like complex animation and simulations with a lot of control and you aren't afraid of a node graph, Houdini might be for you. Maya is a little more old school, not quite as popular in the concert visual realm, but it is the king of character animation and has been used by high level film and animation studios for decades. You'll probably also want a nice renderer to go with your 3D package that allows you to render really high quality imagery. These days, Cinema 4D comes with Redshift, which is what I personally use. Octane has also been very popular in the concert visual world for the last, I don't know, seven, eight, maybe more years. And Blender comes with Cycles and Eevee, which both get really great results as well. You'll also need some high quality 3D models to create your scenes with. You don't have to, and you shouldn't, create everything from scratch unless you hate yourself check out kitbash turbo squid cg trader quixel mega scans and sketchfab for some great models to start building your scenes with great 3d renders also rely on great materials to put on your objects some of my favorite sources for materials are substance 3d Grayscale Gorilla Plus, Quixel Bridge, Pixel Lab, Textures.com, Polygon, Blender Kit, and Real Time Materials. Okay, so those are the basic building blocks of 3D, but whether you're doing 3D or 2D, you're going to need some compositing and 2D animation tools. After Effects is very powerful and capable, has a bunch of great plugins, and it can be used for both compositing and 2D animation. Nuke is used by a lot of VFX studios and is another great option for compositing VFX style work. Cavalry, you might not have heard about this one yet. It's a little bit newer on the scene and it's a really interesting 2D animation tool. It's not really a compositing tool though, so just for the 2D guys. Next in the pipeline is a video editor. Whether you're making your visuals primarily from video footage or stock footage, or you're editing your renders to music or something like that, a good linear editor is what you need. Premiere from the Adobe family is great if you're already working with After Effects and want to stick with the Adobe ecosystem. Resolve is another fantastic tool. It's got free and low cost options and has some incredible tools for color grading and working with video footage. 
Final Cut from Apple is another great option if you're doing your editing on an Apple computer. These tools aren't all that different from our perspective, so check them out and use the one that feels good to you or works with the other tools you're using. Lastly, on the video side is a video encoder. Oftentimes we need to deliver our VJ clips in a variety of formats based on the playback system or other uses. Different media servers have their own preferred video codecs and formats and these are different from what you might use to deliver a music video or a TV performance or for use on social media. So media encoders allow you to convert your rendered video file into other video formats without having to re-render from the source. Media encoders from Adobe, there's also Handbrake, and for us in the concert visual world, Resolume Alley is a great tool for converting our files to DXV for use by a Resolume VJ. Let's take a quick break from video and animation to talk about some image editing and vector illustration tools. These are also commonly used when creating assets for our concert visual animations. Photoshop and Illustrator are from the Adobe family. You're probably familiar with those, but if you're trying to avoid Adobe, there are other alternatives from companies like Affinity. Okay, so those are the basics. Now let's get into some more specialized tools. Real-time animation tools are the future and honestly the present. Over the last two or three years, I've used a real-time animation tool in pretty much every project that I've done and is worth putting one into your pipeline. They create their visuals in real time, which means they render instantly. As soon as you hit play, they play back the animation in real time, full speed. This is incredible for those of us who are used to waiting hours or even days for a render to finish in our 3D package. And because they're real time, they can also be used for interactive and generative content that uses live inputs. Unreal is a video game engine that's been growing in popularity with the motion graphics and concert visual industries. Notch is created specifically for live visuals and can do 3D particle simulations and camera effects really well among other things. And Touch Designer is used to visually code custom applications that can be used for real-time visuals and interactive installations. Okay, moving on, if you love creating custom 3D models, especially organic forms, you're going to want a sculpting tool. These tools allow you to digitally sculpt as though you were working with virtual clay and allow you to model complex organic forms for your scenes in an intuitive way. ZBrush is probably the industry standard for this, but 3D packages also come with their own, like Mudbox and Maya. Cinema 4D and Blender also have decent built-in options, and there are even options for iPad, like Forger, Another specialized technique that you might want to include in your concert visual animations is soft body and cloth simulations. Cinema 4D, Houdini, and other 3D packages have built-in options, but there are also specialized tools like Marvelous Designer that only do cloth simulation and do it really, really well which you can then bring back into your 3D package of choice. Characters can be another big part of concert visuals, so here are some tools that you can use to create and rig and animate your characters. Mixamo, Accurig, and Rococo are great options for rigging character models and applying motion-captured animation to them. 
character creator, Daz 3D, and Unreal's MetaHuman are a few options you could check out for creating and customizing your own characters. Next up, let's zoom out and talk about the scene itself. Epic landscapes are a great backdrop for your 3D animations, and flying through them could be a visual all on its own. Tools like World Creator allow you to generate landscape terrains with textures that you can bring back into your 3D package, and game engines like Unreal also have fantastic landscape sculpting and foliage tools that you can use to create and customize all kinds of natural environments. And finally, let's talk about one of my favorite specialized techniques, simulating particles, fire, smoke, and fluids. This can be really fun and they're awesome looks to use for visuals. For Cinema 4D, you've got plugins like X Particles and Turbulence FD. And its latest updates have some amazing simulation tools built in. As I mentioned, Houdini also has incredible simulation tools, including their Pyro FX engine. Embergen is a newer real-time tool that you can use to create simulations to bring back into your scene as VDBs or as flipbooks. And real-time tools like Notch or Unreal's Niagara Engine are great options. They're really powerful simulation tools. Running simulations and tweaking them in real time is so much better than waiting for them to cache. So that's a good collection of tools that I would consider checking out for your concert visual animation pipeline. But wait, I've got some bonus tools that I think you should check out that I use all the time in my workflow. Topaz has some AI tools that can be used to up res your renders or even time stretch them all the way from 30 FPS to 120 FPS slow-mo, which can save you a ton of time on renders. Gyazo is a really useful tool for quickly capturing your screen so you can send test images and GIFs to the client without needing to render out the video file. PureRef is a nice little tool for gathering and organizing reference images and creating mood boards during the early stages of the design process. And Found is a file explorer made for motion designers and animators. It can preview image sequences and 3D objects right in the file browser. It's so nice for working with all the different file types that we use. With these tools, you can build a workflow for creating all kinds of amazing concert visuals. So tell me, what do you use in your pipeline? Drop your software stack in the comments below and let me know if I missed any of your favorites. Thanks for watching. Peace.